everyone, me again and welcome to yet another haul video. Yes, I've been shopping again unfortunately. Now I didn't go shopping in July really that much. I kind of brought a few bits and bobs towards the end of the month um, and then I brought a few at the start of this month. So I thought instead of doing two little videos, I would marry them together, merge them together as one big happy video and do one video for the lot. That was a very convoluted explanation. But first of all, I just wanted to say a quick thank you to everybody who's already voted for me in the Cosmopolitan Blog Awards 2013. For those of you who don't know, I have been shortlisted for the best beauty vlog. And that's unbelievable because I'm sat in the list next to Tanya Burr and Viviana Does Makeup and I Covet Thee and all my favourite YouTubers. Um, and then there's me, sat right there, smack bang in the middle. And it's quite scary. Um, but so thank you very much to everybody who nominated me to get me on the shortlist and also thank you to those of you who voted for me already a lot of you have commented and said that you have that makes my heart go wow um, but if you do enjoy watching my videos then it would be amazing if you could vote for me um, I'll put all the information in that little bar down there so you can take a look at how to vote I think it's pretty easy you just sort of tick a few boxes on who your favorite blogs are and you can discover some new people along the way um, but I am sat in category 7 I believe which is best beauty vlog as X Amelia X so yes vote for me please that would be super. Okay then, let's get on with the haul. Primark first, got to be, always Primark. Now I went to London the other weekend to visit a lovely friend, hi Gary, um, obviously not going to be watching but there you go, and he got dragged around the giant Primark in London for quite a long time which he really enjoyed. Um, and I picked up a few bits and bobs that I thought were quite interesting and I, I hadn't seen in my Primark or um, any Primarks near me. The first of which was this lovely dress and it's not really my kind of thing, well it is my kind of thing because I like vintagey bits and bobs but I don't normally go for bright yellow. <laughs> um, but I just thought this dress was really really pretty and now it looks massive. Uh, I wanted a size 8, they didn't have one so I got it in a size 10 um, and it looks bigger than it is off. But when you put it on, it is quite fitted. Um, it just needs a little bit of a hoist in with a, with a waist belt. But it's really, really pretty. You can see. But um, it's, it's high-waisted with a little lacy collar and um, cap sleeves. And then it goes down and it's a, a kind of skater-style dress. Now, it is a little bit short for me because I'm, I'm five foot seven, which is fairly tallish for a girl. Um, but I think I can get away with the shortness. It kind of comes mid-thigh because it's quite covered up on the top there um, and it's got a little peep hole at the front there with a tiny little button and it's so so pretty um, and it was £22 which is well I guess it's kind of expenses for, for Primark but I'm not really sure um, but it feels really good quality and it, I don't think it looks like it's a Primark dress so I'm very very pleased with that and I will definitely wear that sort of out shopping or if we go for a picnic or anything fun that you would do in the summer um, but yeah I really like this and it's very sunny and yellow Next is a little bit boring, um, I wear a lot of jersey bodycon pencil skirts or midi skirts for work um, so I picked up a plain black one, a bit boring I know, um, but it was really cheap, it was £5, <laughs> can't grumble, uh, there you go, it's just a plain sort of midi skirt, you can wear it quite high waisted and it still comes past the knee um, and they're just brilliant for work, sort of chucking on with a blouse like the next item which is this one. Uh, this was £8 and it's a just a plain roll sleeve, short sleeved blouse, kind of like a chiffon fabric, um, sort of square at the bottom, sometimes they're a little bit dipped, this one isn't really, um, and it's just it's just super plain, you can see, sort of super plain there, um, and that will just look really nice sort of tucked into a high-waisted bodycon midi skirt, and like I said this was £8, so that is a bargain. And I also picked up another uh, body con skirt, which I absolutely adore, um, and it's this one, and this was £8, and it's kind of like this really cool purple, pink, green and gold aztec -y print, it's quite funky, and it goes all the way down, midi length and high waisted again, and it's, that's going to be really easy to style, and obviously Aztec, Aztec print is everywhere at the moment. Um, yeah, really stretchy, nice fit. Now this one's in a size 8, that one, the black one's in a size 10, both of them fit fine. Um, so, you know, if you're struggling for sizes, there's not a lot in them because they kind of just suck to your shape. <laughs> that was attractive. Uh, mm, suck to your shape. Uh, yeah, 
So, brilliant. I really like that. And one more thing was this little necklace I have already worn, so the tag's gone. It was £4 and it just kind of sits flat against your neck as you can see. I like this kind of style um, and it's kind of like a zigzaggy chain all the way around. I just thought it was quite funky to add to the collection and for £4 you can't really grumble. And you know what, that is it for Primark, so uh, we shall move on to the internet purchases. Now the first of which is from a company called Prodigy Red, I believe I've spoken to you about them before because I brought something in my last haul video I believe, um, but this is a, another high-waisted <laughs> midi bodygone skirt um, that I got from there. Now on their website it says this is stone. This is not stone, this is pink. <laughs> it's uh, like a really cute little baby pink skirt and it's got um, sort of baroque patterning embossed on there. I'm not sure if you can actually see um, but it's really really thick which is what I like because I find, and I don't know about you ladies, but I find sometimes when you're wearing the really tight bodycon uh, midi skirts, you can see your pants. Even if you're just wearing a little thong, you can still see the lines, and it's really annoying. <laughs> um, so this is brilliant because it's a little bit thicker, so it doesn't really show the pant lines, which is excellent. Um, and I think it was only about £10. I did buy this a while ago, actually. This was at the start of July, I think I bought this one. I think it was only about 8 maybe £8 to £11, pounds possibly, but it was really cheap anyway um, and I love this and it fits really well um, so yes I would definitely check out Prodigy Red for some skirts because they've got quite a lot of skirts and uh, bodycon midi dresses which are obviously still all the rage they've got loads of those so check them out then I went on to Boohoo and ordered uh, two pieces first of which is a midi length bodycon Aztec print dress and it's a high-waisted cap sleeve dress quite casual really but you could dress it up with some black wedges as well for the evening um, and it's a very very slinky fit but it, it's quite a comfortable slinky fit because again the material is quite thick so um, you don't see the lines from your bra or your pants which always uh, puts me off a little bit but yeah I really like that and that wasn't that expensive either the tags fallen off but I think it was about eight pounds I want to say or possibly 15 probably 15 I'll find the link and put it in the info bar um, but it really wasn't that expensive and um, it feels really good quality so I like that and then I also got this top which I have already worn out if you follow me on Instagram um, I'm at X Amelia X um, I post a lot of my outfit of the day photos on there so you will all or you will have already seen this from the weekend because I wore it out um, and it's this really pretty peplum top now this is a lot brighter than I thought it was going to be. It doesn't look, it looks quite pastel on the Boohoo website, but it's actually quite a neon um, yellow, which I was not too sure about at first, because I'm kind of a neutral girl. I've got a lot of yellow actually today, but um, I don't wear a lot of yellow and I'm quite a neutral kind of person, but I really, really liked it once I put it on. It's super thick, so it's really good quality, um, and it's kind of like a neon yellow with peaches um, and browns in there as well and it's a little peplum top there so I wore it with the next item that I'm going to show you um, which is a midi skirt funnily enough um, and it sort of I, I got a lot of compliments on it and it I felt really really pretty in this now this was 18 pounds I believe which I don't know if that's expensive or not. I don't think it is because the quality feels really good. The one thing I will say is it comes up quite big. Um, so I got this in a size 8 and it was still kind of baggy on me. Whereas this is a size 8 as well and this fits just right. Um, so if you're w wondering which size to get, if you're kind of in between sizes, go for the smaller one in this. And they also do it in a pink as well, which is really pretty. So uh, yeah, I really, really like that. Well done, Boohoo. And as promised then, the next item, I also had a little bit of a shop on ASOS um, and I picked up this mocha midi, well actually no it's not a midi skirt, this is probably more of a pencil skirt, this mocha bodycon pencil skirt, um, it's, uh, it's not a stretchy fabric, it's kind of like a structured skirt um, and I put that with this here and I thought it looked really pretty, it does come with a belt which I've lost uh, here, it comes with a little black skinny belt. Um, and this was a bargain. Uh, I can't remember how much it was. We're not doing very well on the pricing front today. I'll find it and I'll pop it in the info bar below. But it really wasn't that expensive. Um, and it feels really good quality. Excellent for workwear, I feel. Um, or going out if you want to dress it up with, um, with a fancy top. But yeah, I really like that. It's really comfortable as well. And I also, I went a little bit crazy and brought um, a leather item. <laughs> it 
wear a lot of leather normally, but it's um, River Island from, from ASOS. Um, and this was £35, but it wasn't £35 because it was cheaper than that. I think it was in the sale at about £12, and that's why I kind of brought it because I was a bit umming and ahhing. But it's another peplum top and it's a it's not real leather um but it's meant to look like leather um and it's kind of yeah you're probably not gonna be able to see this very well um it's kind of plain in the front and then it's got snakeskin panels down the side and then it's got a little pep room at the bottom and then it's got a meshy bit at the back um it looks really awesome on i love this but i put it on <laughs> i was gonna wear this on saturday instead of the yellow one from boohoo i put it on and as soon as i put it on i was sweating buckets because it was a really hot day so i thought yeah probably one to keep for the winter time but that i think would look really pretty over the aztec midi skirt so um there's definitely a lot of options for this but um yeah i like the river island stuff that's on asos because i don't normally head into river island myself so yeah it's quite nice to see what they've got online and last but not least i brought this beautiful dress and i love it and again i'm gonna forget how much it was because there's no labels on it i'm sorry i think it was about 22 pounds um but it's a jersey midi dress um, and it's quite casual but I think with the right belt, the right shoes, the right handbag you could kind of um, snazzy this up a little bit, is that a word? It is now um, and it's in a beautiful rust colour, um, really really neutral and it's just a long midi flowy kind of skater t-shirt dress in a way and I absolutely love it it's really really pretty and really flattering when it's on as well so like I said with a big necklace on a cool belt round it and uh, maybe some heels on this would be turned very quickly from a day dress into an evening gown <laughs> Girl. I'm not going to do a ball um, but yeah no I really really like this um, and like I said it was £22 which is quite expensive I guess for just a jersey fabric but it's so so pretty and I'm really pleased I brought it so yes well done ASOS. Last fashion item bit of a boring one I'm afraid um, I brought some new trainers for the gym <laughs> um, these are the new Nike flex runs and they are so beautiful I never thought I would get excited about a pair of trainers for the gym but unfortunately I'm one of those exercise freaks now um, and I love these, they're just, they're so cool, they're so comfortable and they're really, really light. They're just like walking or running on clouds and I love them. They were £65, um, I got them from JD Sports um, and I got them in size 7 and they fit fine and I'm a size 7. Because sometimes I wonder whether you should go up a size or down a size for trainers, I think it's up a size. Um, but no, these are spot on. And they've got mesh panels at the side so um, you don't get stinky sweaty feet, which is always a bonus. Beauty products then, I've got three fake tan products to show you, uh, one of which has already been featured in my uh, favourites video last month and that's this one, it's the St Moritz Self Tanning Mousse. Now I picked this up on Beth J Reed's recommendation because she's a self tanning queen um, and it's really good, it's like this scary dark mousse that you rub all over, leave on for a couple of hours and it leaves you looking beautifully bronzed and it really does work and it was only a fiver in Tesco so um, I thought I'd give it a go and I absolutely love it. So so that's a big bonus but I also picked up the Dove Summer Body Glow in medium to dark I normally get this in fair to medium um, but I thought I would be a bit of a rebel and get it in the darker shade in the hope that it would work quicker and it does so um, I normally have to put on maybe two or three nights worth to get the right colour in the light to medium but on with the medium to dark I kind of put it on overnight and you get a decent colour the next morning um, and it was only £2.50 it was on offer so that's the reason why I brought that because I've also brought uh, Malvita Pro Sun, which is something I've already spoken about before. I love this product. Um, it's quite expensive. Now, this is £20 for a little tub, um, and I use it quite a bit, so I should probably be a bit more sparing with it. Um, but this hasn't got DHA in it, so it doesn't smell like fake tan. And it also doesn't give you a really deep dark colour, it kind of gives you more of a golden bronze. So I kind of use this if I'm looking for just an everyday sort of tan, and then if I'm going out anywhere I want to look a little bit darker, I, I use these two. Um, so yeah, I, I, I think I have a bit of a complex about being super pale. Um, but yeah, so they are the three fake tanning products that I've brought. I also picked up a new nail varnish. Now, um, my mother and I went for a pedicure, and we tend to do it like sort of once every month. There's a little girly bond thing um, and they use this polish on my toes and I absolutely loved it it's the OPI liquid sand polish in Jinx which is the 
orange one. Now it looks super glittery in here, but it doesn't. It dries to a matte sand finish. Um, but yeah, I love this and I've been wearing it kind of non-stop since. Um, they're about £11, I think, for a bottle of OPI polish. A lot of the time I find that they chip quite easily as well. However, this doesn't seem to. A lot of people have said the, the other way around, that this chips more, but I've found that this lasts for quite a while. So I've been loving this and I brought it. And last but not least, I bought the triple performing facial emulsion from Benefit. I had a little sample of this uh, the other month and I absolutely loved it so I've had to go and buy myself a big version. This I think is £22.50 for the big version but the pump only puts pumps out a tiny tiny amount um, and I use two pumps um, once a day actually, I only use this at night uh, and it seems to be lasting quite well and it just works wonders for my skin, my skin loves it, it drinks it up and it doesn't make me break out um, which is a huge bonus for me so I, I really like this um, and I'm really pleased that I bought it normally when I buy skincare, when you have to rebuy skincare it's quite annoying because you're like it's quite a bit of money and I know I already like it, it's nothing new, I'm just replacing it so it's not fun money to spend. Um, but I don't think I would mind rebuying this one and it's in a lovely little bottle as well. So yes, we love your benefit, not sure why I'm doing this. And that's it guys for another haul. Um, sad times. I hope you enjoyed some of the stuff that I've been buying. I really like the clothes that I bought recently and I'm quite excited by them all. The problem is the weather's so all over the place at the moment. I just don't know what to what to buy. Should we start buying jumpers again because it's gone really cold and rainy or should we buy more summer stuff in case the summer ever comes back? Um, but yeah, so I've got a good mixture there anyway. So I hope you enjoyed watching my haul. If you did, please give it a giant thumbs up um, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and come and follow me on Twitter as well. I'm at xameliax. But until next time, I hope you have a wonderful evening and I will see you again soon. Bye. The next product is another face product and it's actually a clarifying face mask. So again, because it's been so hot and also because I've been doing a lot of exercise, I find that my pores have been getting quite clogged um, with kind of makeup and with sweat. Lovely. Um, so I <laughs> needed a little bit of help to sort of clear things out a little bit and keep it nice and um, and clear um, and this is one of the products that's really been helping me out it's a clay face mask by Dirty Works and it's called their Detox Mask